everyone and welcome to episode seven of the Wool and Wishes Knitting Podcast. I'm Kirsty and I'm Tracy and you can find everything we talk about in the description box below. This is a place where we talk about knitting, spinning, a yeah. little bit of crochet and all the woolly things. Yeah. Um, you can find us on Instagram as well as yeah. Wool and Wishes. Uh, that'll be linked below as well. So summer holidays. Yeah, you'll have to excuse if there's any background noise. Um, I've got child three and four at home and uh, I keep hearing the floorboards creaking. Creaking and floorboards, they're upstairs. Him shouting at his computer. Yeah, playing computer <laughs> games and things. So I have I have said to him that there's only so much that they can be quiet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So sorry about that. Yeah. Um, I want to thank everybody for their lovely comments on the last episode, wishing me happy birth birthday. Yeah. Congratulations. And just all the comments yeah. in general. Everybody New support. New subscribers. Yeah. So nice. Everybody's support means so much it to does. us. It's it amazing. Does. So I've had some good news um, this month. Yeah. My 90-year-old grandma has been waiting um, over two years for a hip replacement and we were starting to think it might not happen she was on yeah. the waiting list to be of the nhs in the uk um which is great but obviously if you're on a waiting list we don't have sort of insurance where you can just get it done no although i don't know how it works if you do um, have insurance no, no. um but she had her hip replaced at the beginning of the month and all went well and getting some mobility back and able to get out of the house it's so nice yeah go it's to some so, garden centers yeah. Yeah, yeah. When well she phoned Nathan, she was like, "I'm out. I'm in the garden centre." I was like, "Oh, it's yeah. just so. It's all she needed." Yeah, it's been far too long. Yeah, so that's been amazing, and yeah. that's just yeah made my whole year. Yeah, really. So yeah, it has. That's great. We've got lots to talk about today. We have. This is a normal episode. We have got a bonus episode that we put up with the wool show that we went to, showing everything we bought there. So if you'd yeah. like to check that out, also there's a giveaway at the end of that um, for some lovely yarn. Yeah. So you might want to go and check that out. Yeah. Also one of our, what episode was it? Episode two that we did a three. We did a, yeah, it was three. three. Episode three. In episode three, we did a giveaway and we contacted the winners. There was three prizes. Two people have got their prizes. One person I messaged and we've had no reply and we, we've we waited quite a while. Well, it's that was been about three months. Three months. three months so we have uh, a prize to yes. give away that we yeah. will should i do it now should, should we just do, do it now, now? Yeah. let's do it now yeah let's do it now so this was the prize oh Put yeah we've on. already selected another winner yeah, yeah. the yeah. winner's already been selected for this so hopefully you're watching if not we will message we you will message on you, youtube yeah. so you know yeah maybe on the original yeah on episode three so look out for your it shows up in the top as a little red bell doesn't it yes i think so in your youtube yeah so if you if you, if the bell's red that means somebody's like when we reply to your messages it's the same it's thing. a notification yeah 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 so yeah this was the prize oh so it's, we're not yeah so we've already selected a winner we've already this. selected the winner yet yeah, this was the prize that wasn't that the winner will get so and, and then, the winner is da, 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 da. Mandy Saunders. Mandy Saunders. I will put it up on the screen because I took a photo of the uh, one that done it. Yeah. So brilliant, yeah, Mandy so, Saunders. So well done. Hopefully, you, yeah. If you if we haven't, well, we're going to message you anyway. Yeah. But you can email us, and our emails in the description box. Yeah. And we can get that out to you. Yeah. So sorry, I made a bit of confusion there. That's done, but the prize. Another prize. Uh, the other prize for the... Is on our bonus episode, which will be called the Southern... Southern Wall Show. Yeah, it'll be called yeah. Southern Wall Show. Yeah. So you can check that so, out. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Oh, I love that as well. Yeah. That was the grand prize that's just been sat there. Yeah. So lovely. Yeah. So I'm not wearing any hand mitts today. Um, it's, it's been so hot. You are. I am. You should talk about that first then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, but yeah, it has been very warm yeah. here in the UK. <laughs> Where the heat wave, it got up into the um, high, what was, high 30, 40. High 30s here, and we're not used to it. We don't have air conditioning no. in our homes. No. And our homes are built. We don't have the awnings or the 
like porches so the the sun beats in it's not built for it the houses here no. so it, there was no escaping the heat it was so unless warm. i suppose you went to the supermarket in the freezing free, yeah. freezer yeah. section and just keep walking yeah. around there yeah but no it was very warm and uh it was so hard to knit i couldn't i would put it my hands were literally dripping yeah so there were, uh, although i have got quite a bit but not as much as i would have done no there were points there was days I where to... i won't knit, i couldn't knit yeah so yeah same here yeah but let's talk about this but yeah so i finished my summer souffle by penrose knits yes. uh laura yeah at penrose knits um i absolutely loved this it's gorgeous it was such a great pattern there wasn't one part that i thought oh i don't really get that there wasn't no, no none not one part and i love that so smooth yeah it was brilliantly written it was i can't can't fault her um you can see because of the cotton where i had my stitches on hold oh, and yeah. i've blocked it but you can i might have to do it again and just see if i can is it oh it's cotton merino it's cotton merino yeah so this was knit out of drops cotton merino and that was in the colorway forest green it's lovely but i love it i absolutely love it so the ruffle the ruffle goes all the way around so that wasn't difficult doing the ruffle no no it took a lot longer than what i thought yeah because of the increases you were really like getting to 400 stitches oh, really? yeah but so well, easy yeah worth so it. easy and i would definitely be making another one of these Fun. definitely i absolutely love it and with laura's patterns she's um really size inclusive um but she's also you can personalize it to fit your to body. fit your body like Brilliant. the arms and everything it's so well written it was to... different sizes wasn't there for yeah. the arms so you could knit the body in one size and then do the arm size different yeah. And I absolutely love that that the that because we haven't we've not we've not all got the same body. No, definitely. You not. know, and our arm circumference are different, and but yeah, the, we all hold weight in different ways as yeah, well. Yeah, but yeah, her patterns are brilliant for that. Perfect. So yeah, but I'm really pleased. I absolutely love it. It's lovely. I would definitely be making more. And you um, wore that to the wall show as well. So I did. getting, I'm, I'm getting. Yeah, I won't be wet. I'm so hot. <laughs> so hot. <laughs> and I was so hot there. I I wasn't going to wear it. But we because we left so early in the morning, it was like, oh, it's, it's going to be all right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it looked, looked a bit overcast as well. So it yeah. was like, mm. yeah. But no, yeah, I can't wait. And I'm going to, I'm probably going to make the other ones as well. I'm even thinking of doing the mohair, the, one. The mohair one. Is that just the souffle? Yeah. Lovely. It looks lovely. But yeah, all, it'll all be in the description below if you want to go and see Laura's patterns. So I was going to wear my finished cotton top, but I decided I'd just wear this today. Um, this is the, I have to do it the right way around this way. This is the June top by Petite Knit. And it's knit in Stylecraft Naturals Organic Cotton in the colourway Rosewood. Oh, I don't know if you can. See. Yeah, you can see it slightly on screen where I alternated schemes. One of the dye lots was off it's not and I that alternated bad. it. You can't see it in real person, no. but something about the screen shows the stripe. And if you hold that for me, yeah. from about here to here, I alternated. And actually, you can see it from here to here. The alternated oh, yeah. skein. You can't see it in you real person. See, no, you can't see it in real life But this all. is just a simple tank. I absolutely love that. It has no hem at the bottom, so it's just got this rolled hem, which I really love, actually. Yeah, that's and so nice. And because it's 100% cotton, I could iron it. I wonder if I could do that. No, because it's no. got the merino oh, yeah, in it. Oh, it's got the merino. No. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it comes up sort of there at the front, and then at the back, it's lower down, but it covers up the bra strap. Oh, nice. And I'll show you the length. So, so about there. Lovely high waisted really nice. um, trousers, yeah. but I have been I've been wearing it. I've washed it, ironed it. It's wow. great, but that was my first all cotton garment. I loved it. I it's love so this nice. pattern. Again, this was one that it was really simple, bottom up. Yeah. And then you knit sort of here. Put these on hold. Kitchener. 
So I'll do the same with the back. Oh, right. And then I cord around the around the edge there. So lovely. I like that. Yeah, really simple. Yeah. And I tend to a lot of my stuff's all different colours. One plain colour, which I need to do more yeah. of because it's more it, wearable. Yeah. Once you've got all the colours, they're all fighting together yeah. sometimes. Yeah. No, that's really nice. Well so, done. I like that. Yeah, that was that. Good. Right. What else have I got? Oh, so. Oh, you've got pictures to insert as yeah, well. Yes, so I've you? got pictures to insert of this. So I finished. Which way is it? I'll tell you how I can tell which way it is. She's got makeup on it. She's already worn it. So it's made for your daughter, Shannon. Yeah. My niece. Yeah. But this is the Ripple Halter by Jessie Maid. Jessie May. Jessie May Designs. I absolutely love making this. So fun. It fits Shannon so well as well. It does. She absolutely yeah. loves it. We'll put the pictures in yeah, so you can I'll, see. I'll insert the pictures. But this was a really good. You know, when I first saw it, I thought, oh, because I'm. I am. I, I still call myself a beginner knitter, but. I now push myself. There's yeah. nothing that I won't knit. Like if I see something I want to knit, I will knit it. Um, and I did panic a little bit over this because I was like, how am I going to make that? Looking at the top. Yeah. So simple. Yeah. So simple. Yeah. In the round. The neckline is in the round. Then you um, knit front. Put the back stitches on hold. Yep. Yeah. Um, knit the front. Pick up the back stitches. Knit the back. And put the front on hold um then you pick up no you then yeah you then, you then go start going back in the round so you join in the round at the upper bust and then do the waist shape it so then you're just in the round again brilliant so it's so it was so I simple love it as well Such I, a I actually color. love the. i mean i wouldn't wear this color i have tried it on myself and i was yeah. like no <laughs> but on shannon yeah. it just suits her doesn't it I love oh, in the photos um <clears throat> the matching makeup she did sort of neon makeup yeah and, and her then, trainers yeah, yeah. Got a bit of neon yeah, she's on like as well that, yeah but yeah she Lovely. straight away as soon as she saw it she was like oh I really um I love it it fits perfect I'd like a neon pink so <clears throat> I've bought a uh, a neon pink the neon pink yarn neon to knit pink that to start that one and cast that one on again. So fun. It's so I think nice. it, because it's <clears throat> I would wear the colour. I don't know if it would suit me. Probably not. Yeah, but I don't good. really care. No. You know? I've started just being like, I'm gonna wear all the colours. Yeah. But it's too tight for me. What do you mean? It's too tight fitting. Right, okay. So, you know, I like it to be loose, things to be a bit looser on my belly. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But yeah, so she's very happy with that, bless her, and I will insert the photos. Um Lovely. She's yeah. gorgeous as well, Shannon. <laughs> Don't tell her that. Uh, yeah. She won't fit through the door. Oh, I've got the, it's yeah. I've got the neon things as well. So two neons in a row. So these Perfect. are my finished. Um, Hermione's Everyday Suck by Erica Lloyder. We'll put it in the description if I've mispronounced. And this is knit in opal sock yarn, neon yellow. Mm. So these were so fun. I love the Hermione. And I don't do heel flap and gusset, so that was fun. And it's a... Uh, um, so neat, yours is. I, I blocked these. Did you? Yeah, I did Ooh. block them. Well, because I had to wash them and dry them. And I just yeah. thought, the, yeah, the perfect sock shape when it come off the blocker. Oh, they like, just? That's amazing. <laughs> they look, maybe I need to start blocking my socks. I'm not just using them for photos. Yeah. 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 I was really happy with the perfect block sock. I could have done with maybe four rows longer trying them on. They do right. fit, but they're a bit tighter than I'd like. The toe construction was a rounded toe, which fits me perfectly, and I'll use that yeah. from now on. But it's a fun pair of socks. Yeah. Neon. I love that pattern. Yeah, it's nice to see it in just a plain yeah. yarn. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So that works well, so I'll do more of those. Yeah. Um, I'm going to try some other heel flap. Yeah. Socks. Nice. I might. It, it is. It, it does take longer, but I do like the fit. I and, love the fit. Yeah, it looks so good. Heel flat. I might even go through a stitch dictionary. Yeah. And put in my own. Yeah. So for the so sixty four stitches. So for thirty two on the front, I might just insert. Yeah. Something from a stitch dictionary. Put yeah. that in. Be fun. Yeah. 
perfect. I didn't um, say what yarn I used for Shannon's top. Oh no, you didn't. I better. Yes. Better say that. Uh, oh, you got quite a lot left there. Yeah, enough to make some baby ones. I weighed baby it. Socks. There's exactly twelve grams. Perfect. So I can make. But yeah, that was socks. Yeah, in the colour helium. But yeah, there's enough left to make some baby socks. Perfect. I will say that about the um, baby sock pattern that I put up uh, on the last episode. Um, someone mentioned that it's actually been taken down from Ravelry, so you can't actually get that. But I have found a drops um, baby sock pattern, and it virtually the same. Looks the same. Looks exactly <clears throat> the same, um, and it's free. So I will put that in the description below. So if anyone is wanting to make the baby socks that I showed on the last episode. They're very similar, so. Yeah, you could check out that one. Yeah, and I'm gonna make, I'm gonna do another pair. I will do a pair in the drops. I should have done that actually before. Mentioning it. Yeah, but. Have a look with the pattern. It's a free pattern as well, Yeah, it's it? free, yeah. Great. And I'll put it in the description so you can check it out. Yeah, I forget to mention that. Both those patterns we've just mentioned. These are free, Hermione Everyday Socks. Everybody yeah. knows that. They always come up on the Ravelry page, pattern searches, don't they, straight yeah. away when you type in finger in yarn. Yeah. Um, the June Tops paid for, and so's the Ripple Halter. And so's the... Yes. Yeah, they're paid for. Right, you just showed one. Showed Tops, yeah. Um, so, I finally... Oh, I, <laughs> they're weaved in. <laughs> I just haven't cut them. I haven't cut the ends. <laughs> no, yeah. I blocked it You're like, first. I finally finished it. Yeah, <laughs> and then I looked and I thought, oh, I was supposed to do that this morning. My Abrezzo shawl Lovely. by Lauren Slagle, which is Lolo. I'll help holding it, it up. Oh, I absolutely go this way. love. Excuse really, the end. Yeah, it just needs clipping. <laughs> just yeah. needs clipping. Uh, is it the right way? No, that's the wrong way. There you go. Um, so yeah, it's got. I don't know if you can see. Sorry, what was the pattern again? The Abrezzo shawl. And she calls it a brazo because it means hug in Spanish. Oh, lovely. And this special stitch pattern that she's got on there, um, it reminds her of a hug. So that's why it's called the... You can't really see it. And I've said before, she does it in a two colour. Oh, um, with the pop. A two skein. And you can then see... I've got... Sorry, I've got The hair. pop. Is it a wrapped? Yes, it's a so wrapped stitch. a wrapped stitch. stitch. But it's so... Lovely. I can't wait to a wear gorgeous that. Gorgeous yarn as well. Oh yeah, it's blooming lovely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a uh, Bird Street yarn in the colourway blooming lovely, and that is a seventy-five twenty-five superwash merino nylon. Um, I've got exactly twelve grams left. So how much of this yarn did you have? It was a hundred gram. So one skein. One skein. Yeah. Really. And I've got twelve grams left for a sock. Oh, you've got loads. Yeah. That just got, that's really big. What, yeah. what size needle did you use? Let me see. Did was I it write a it four? down? Um. Must have. It, been. Yeah, it was a four. Yeah, to get the. It was a four. It's really long out of one skein. Perfect. Yeah. And I couldn't believe when I weighed it, there was exactly twelve grams left. So I've got socks, socks. baby socks. <laughs> but I love the colours in this. I love the purples, the mustard, the pinks. Yes, yeah, they're like all a... my colours that I really love. Raspberry little pops in there as well. Yeah. But yeah, finally finished it. And Perfect. after making this, I was just like, I want to knit all the shawls. They I are really, fun. Yeah. Are you going to enter that in? I started it before. Oh, did you? Yeah, but I can enter the probably won't get that finished but i don't know whether they want what is it called across the pond by ruth ruth, ruth, ruth. Is it ruth? ruth loves to knit and ruth loves to knit and uh, we can't, I can't remember, remember the other one. but it's holding a um knit along for shawl knit along yeah so and i'm not sure whether you have to finish a uh you have to finish the shawl by the end of the you go and check oh, it out i'll check it out and yeah i'll put it in the link below but so, but yeah, I did start this before, so I can't enter that one. But it's made me want to knit all the shawls now. They are fun. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. And and again, you remember the 
the pattern so you didn't need to keep looking no didn't need to keep looking so yeah another finished object look go me three finished yeah objects. it's good yes i um so obviously we're finishing college i've been missing it and wanting to design some things maybe or just go through the design process because at college a lot of it was that you'd sit and you'd have to take photographs do sketches and then make loads of swatches yeah not gauge swatches no color swatches <laughs> and stitch pattern swatches which are more fun yeah um so i thought i'd just share one of the things i made so my third project before my final major project was uh architecture project so i was looking at modern buildings and brutalist architecture and made this cow for the project now it's not very functional as a cow well i mean it, it keeps you warm so yeah. i suppose it would this is in drops charisma and i did intarsia for it so it was knit flat i did sort of textured stitches here like concrete and then these stripes this garter here so that was all intarsia and then here I did stranded colour work. So it's got garter stitch here as well and stock and stitch here. It was really complicated and so overworked. And to be honest, I just wanted it to be a panel with knitting and go, there you go, piece of art. But I'd chosen the design thing for that one. So, yeah. but it was so much fun to make it's and amazing. go through the design process. Yeah. So I thought I'd share it. It is on my Instagram already. I absolutely love that. Thank you. You're just too clever. It was really complicated, but because I charted it all out on squared paper, in ways it was a lot easier than it would have been if I was following a pattern. Yeah. So I'm not looking to necessarily write patterns or anything. Well, that is your own pattern. Yeah. So clever. Thank you. So clever. I love that. But I've started a new project, so it's just a small project, and I've started swatching colour work ideas based yeah. on drawings I've done. Yeah. And I wondered if anyone was interested, let me know in the comments, and then I can show just the swatches... Yeah. and just what I'm working on but yeah. I will say you don't always have to make a project to learn a new technique you can just look through oh, stitch yeah. dictionaries if you want to try and just do, do a little, little swatch, yeah, yeah do a little swatch and then just practice yeah and you can keep that swatch and then you remember the techniques because sometimes it's like if you're going to do it in a project that can take yeah that can take months can't yeah. it for yeah. something that you just wanted to learn the technique yeah so I thought I'd share it well and done, also it. thank you because my next finished object so I'll go straight into yeah, that yeah. was the Arnie and Carlos ODA I mittens wait to see these. now I had I knit those in the leftover yarn from this project so that's why I um wanted to show that as well I'm so happy with these so obviously oh. also you can see the comparison of oh, my design wow and like the amazing Arnie and Carlos designs so these they... are you ready I can't even I can't even oh I'm my like, heart oh my god oh so these are the ODA colouring mittens and when I bought this pattern it reminded me of sort of art deco anyway or stained glass windows so I knit these and I almost there's a the thumbs I'll have to take them off to show the thumbs I almost didn't do the colour so it's knit, oh. um, stranded colour work. And then I, at the end, you colour them in using duplicate stitch. Duplicate stitch is amazing. I'll get really close up on a part that's not as great so you can see. So this, on this orange section, you can see the yarn underneath coming through. And I was just said to myself as I was doing it, just, you know, I'm new, it doesn't matter, just be gentle with myself and not be too like perfectionist about it no one will ever see that and i just did it but to be honest i've done some more duplicate stitch on these swatches i've been making i just talked about and i thought it's okay yeah it's it's similar to cross stitch really really you do it directional like you with the cross stitch where you do the one side before you do the others and you do it along a line so it's the same thing and i have to try duplicate I didn't follow the pattern of where they coloured theirs in or use the same colours. I just kept colouring it in and I had to stop because I was almost just going to keep going and colour in the rest. <laughs> the whole thing. Oh, they are amazing. They're the, they're the most sort of impressive to look at. They thing. are very impressive. I think I've ever made. 
yeah. I was just like, when they were finished, I'm just like thinking, I'm going to win all the snowball fights. <laughs> in Yeah, the kids haven't got any mittens and I'll just be out there in yeah. these. Yeah, I would just be going around going. Yeah. So it doesn't really get that oh, cold. They fit. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't really get cold enough here that you'd really have to wear mittens. But no. I'm just going to be going for long walks in the winter. Yeah, I would be. Yeah. In these mittens, just oh, going into the shop. Yeah. There's there's the <laughs> handed over the cash. Probably not being able to pick it <laughs> no. up in my mittens. Oh. Yeah. You are going to inspire so many people to make these. But if you don't want to make these, do knit a swatch. And then try duplicate yeah. stitch. Get some squared you paper. You could just anything. you could use a cross stitch chart. Yeah. That you've already got. And if you're into cross stitch, I mean, I I've got cross stitch cross charts stitch. and things. And you could stitch that on. So you could knit a plain mitten, and then, you know, take a panel. You could just duplicate stitch yeah. something on top. It's the easiest colour work technique, I've come across. Yeah. And I tried all the complicated ones first. Yeah. <laughs> And I should but have been doing that when you look time. at it, it looks like it would have been so complicated. Yeah. So it's definitely worth trying. Definitely yeah. worth trying. So much fun. So the ODA Colouring Mittens by Arnie and Carlos. We'll link their page. I think there's a link from their page to their website. Yep. ODA. They're amazing. Yeah. So amazing. Yeah. I was like, You need some couldn't. photos of those. Yeah, I couldn't. I just keep staring at them. But yeah, like I'm saying, the mitten blockers could have done yeah, with those. Yeah, could have. Yeah. So that's those. Yeah, they're amazing. Um, so fun. So, oh, actually, I can show you my half finished object. These are fun. So Kay from the Crazy Sock Lady, she um, put up a thing where she was just saying that like a scrappy sock. Yeah. Um. And I thought, oh, that's a good idea. So I just got some scraps out and, uh, yeah, a scrappy, stripy sock. I don't think I've actually copied her same, like, how many rows she done or whatever. But i done eight at the top and then four rows at the toe. They're so fun. But yeah, I thought, oh, that's a good idea. It t it... I've been seeing, because it's like retro, because you've got yeah. those sort of 70s socks that yeah. would have the cream with the stripes. Yeah. And thought they'd be so fun to knit. And yeah. Just... But no, yeah, I, when I saw them, I mean, she'd done them in grey and rainbow, and they are mm. beautiful. Um, but I had some of this, I can't bloody hell, I don't think I've got it on me. Uh, this, this was Siobhan Crafts. Undyed. Just an undyed. Yeah. Yeah, that I had, and I had 50 grams of it, and then I thought, because it wouldn't have been enough, I don't think, for a whole sock, um, and I wanted to use it for a sock, and then I thought, actually, that's perfect what? to just add some colour. I like them. I think they're great. They're really fun. They're really and, you know, this would have used such a little amount of each colour. Oh, so yeah, they're yeah. tiny little scraps yeah. that you've got. Yeah. Any, scrappy socks. Yeah. But these are very organised scrappy socks. Yeah. They're fun. Yeah. Yeah. Really good. So, yeah. I've finished. Well, I haven't finished. That's a half finished. And I, haven't I love those colours together yet. as well. Yeah. Nice. I just got... I just. Oh, from the jar? We, yeah, I, I mean, they're still out of the jar because they're in the bag ready to start the second one. But, yeah, so you can, again, you can do any, whatever stripes you want. I just do, I normally do 60 um, on the foot and then I just done the math and worked out what I would need. Have you cast on the other? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> it's in a bag, ready. Ready to be cast yes, on. ready to be cast on. But, yeah. So it's just a vanilla sock. Fun. Is that a have you got a recommendation of a good vanilla sock pattern with that heel? What what pattern did what Oh yeah, the crazy sock lady. It was a crazy sock yeah. lady. Yeah, Kay Litton. Um I think it's a free pattern. Don't quote me on that though, but I will put it in the description box below. But I'm pretty sure it is. I'm not sure now. But yeah, I always use Kay's. Because I like vanilla. I said with the slip stitch heel, it looks like a different one. Yeah. Yeah, and she's got a tutorial. Brilliant. From start to finish. I love tutorials. Yeah, yeah, on YouTube, so. We love tutorials. Yes. Oh. Okay. So, another fun thing. So this kept coming up on Instagram. <laughs> and I I just kept seeing them. And I, w I thought I really just 
I've got it. I've got I to make one. Love. So this is Frog by Claire Garland. And I made this with some random scraps I had. So it's a little frog. It's knit flat and then there's short rows and everything. And then you, I think you start here. What do you start here? Yeah, you start here, you knit up all the short rows to the top, come round to here, and then you pick up and do sort of shaped eye cords, oh which I thought was a really clever technique. And then some other little details. I did make one mod, which was on the eyelids. There's instructions for how to make the lip. And I did the same thing. I just picked up some stitches and cast off. I think I picked up five stitches around the eyes and cast off. Yeah. Because it just wasn't it looking it, yeah, it's, it looks enough more for me. Frog -like. I think it's where the, my short rose, maybe I stuffed it too firmly as well. But Oh, I absolutely love him. I had seen so many people put them on Instagram, like on their reels. And yeah. I thought, oh, I so want to make that. And then I saw on our Instagram and I'm like, yes, he's made one. <laughs> oh. So, so fun. It's just so cute. So I used fingering with um, mohair together to make a DK. Yeah. Yeah, but it's... It, hold my wrist quick then. <laughs> it's little... He is so cute. And then I saw the little sweaters they had. So this is Froggy's Sweater by Claire Garland. And the pattern for this, which I really appreciate, was like 50p. Perfect. So obviously designed the sweater after the oh. pattern came out. So I should put the little sweater on the frog. Oh, we need so a whole you family can see. of them. <laughs> well, I'll let you pull the arms through. Yeah. And the other one as well while I get out. So then that one was for me. And then my daughter Evelyn wanted one. And she said, can she have a mushroom style frog? So I did, again, I showed these on Instagram. This I used... Um, fingering and mohair for the belly and then I used Starcraft Special DK for the body so then this little froggy oh I should have done a warning for Holly to look away Holly really doesn't like frogs nor does Callum really he's absolutely petrified of frogs I he can't they, even look at them I think they can be a bit creepy I love frogs though I think they're cute but you can sew its um legs in place as well so it's got more of a froggy look but i thought that was so was fun. it easy to make yeah i mean the difficulty is because i've made like you so many toys yeah i don't know if it would be i found it simple the right. instructions there was no confusion in the instructions there is short rows but i don't think you had to pick them up you just right carried on knit flat mattress stitch around the edge yeah. which i just used the mohair to mattress stitch it again it's not the neatest it doesn't need to be no no but definitely a lot of techniques oh, really fun i absolutely love i recommend the pattern i can't believe how cute a frog can be I know. <laughs> i'm gonna let you <laughs> oh in the sweater so this it's is the so little cute. and this was in some scraps that i had i don't know but i thought a little orange Sweater for the frog. Perfect. That is amazing. So fun. Again, that was knit flat and then seamed up the back. I'm going to have to make one of those. Just did it in the day as well. Oh, really? Yeah, so it doesn't take long. It is a quick project. Ooh. So you could keep making loads. You just have a little oh, froggy family. I think they need to sit there. Do they sit up? <laughs> oh, they're so cute. Next step, next podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then... Just a whole family. But oh, yeah, so, so cute. fun. Love them. Well done. That was fun. That is so, such a good project. I needed just a quick knit like that as well, something yeah. that was just. Yeah. And then done. You I just couldn't instant... believe it. I, as soon as I saw it on our Instagram, I was like, oh, wow. Instant satisfaction. You made the frog. I love it. Brilliant. So, what have I got now? Um. Oh. I'll show you this whip. So, I... Ooh. I've started 
the Every Which Way Cow. I can't see it. Yeah, there you go. By Christine Clement. I had this yarn and I kept thinking, I, I really want to use it. I don't know what to use it in. So I went on Ravelry and I thought, actually, I'm going to make a cow. I want a cow. Um, and put in a two two colours yep. and they just went through. And this caught my eye. Um, this is so easy. So easy. With the stripe going through. The middle, so you get some yeah. rest rays as well. What, yeah. This was, what was this yarn? This is a DK, oh, Sokia again, in the DK. Uh, Kootenips. Uh, in the colourway, that one's quartz. And this one, look It's like one. heathered. It's got a, um, like it's glowing, it's got a yellow. Yeah. Oh, there you go, I've got another. I'm Let's see if you can sure see the colourway. heathered part in there. But yeah, it's um fun. Small floats, so you haven't got to worry about yep. carrying them across. And again, such an easy you remember it. You've got it memorised. Got it memorised. I don't need the pattern at all. That's perfect then. You can just those colours as well. Like yeah, I love wear. these are my yeah, these are my colours. And uh yeah, so as soon as I saw that cow, I was like, oh, and it's really because it's DK, it's knitting up really quick. I had to put it down because I was like, right, it's got to be a whip. Yeah, otherwise you'll finish it too quickly. <laughs> otherwise I'll finish it and it'll be another finish. Yeah, that's lovely. But yeah, I love that. I can't simple... wait to wear that. I love my greens. Simple so... chevrons. Yeah, yeah. And it's not very. It's not a very big. It's not like not a huge tube cow. No, it's just like yeah, a few more rows I think. But that's great because it's colour work you can take out and about with you. Yeah. If you yes. remember yeah, it. We all love colour work, work yeah. but if it's complicated, yeah, it's you can't... this one you can take wherever. Wherever, because you haven't got to think about it. Well, I say we all love colour work. I love colour work. Oh yeah, I do. And if you can remember it, then it's just Yeah. Do you do two hands? No, I can't. I've tried. But you crochet, you hold it. I, yeah, yeah, when I it's crochet, the same tension end for the crochet. I can hold the yarn in that hand. Mm -hmm. I did try with this. I just can't do it. I have to knit, drop it, knit and yeah. pick it up. Um which is so strange that I hold my if I'm crocheting I hold it in that. Yeah, you're using And I get the tension and I in the left hand. Yeah. Works though, it doesn't have to be quick, does no, it? No, it doesn't have to be quick at all. But yeah, I'm I can't wait for that to be finished and so for fun. autumn and winter to come. Yeah. I'm I need that now. I've had oh, what, of wanting, yeah. <laughs> yeah. wanting to wear I'm the sorry knits. if you love the sun, but no. I used to. I used to love the sun. but Autumn is my favourite. And mine, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I love autumn. So, yeah, that is... I love that, yeah. Uh, every which way. Cow. Really neat stitches as well. Yeah, and you, and again, you can use like a variegated for the, like, the chevron pattern. You could fade as you well. You could fade. So many. But that's going to go with all your stuff. Everything, yeah. So, that's another whip. So, I've got some hand spun. So, the little spindle project I was talking about last time. So, this is Spin Jones. Um, merino silk and silk noil in um, the colourway Pillar, Pala, Aglor. And there's it. It's spun out. So, just 25 grams. Oh, it's 27 grams. 88 meters which makes it about a sport weight so in the uk it's still four ply but i like to write sport down yeah. because there's a big difference between a sort of sport weight and a fingering yeah. and so i know yeah to pair it with i could pair it with a dk or a fingering thing but to be on the thicker side yeah so yeah That's all well nice the colors in there i love that so i just always put the tags on of the yeah, or if I, I remember. Yeah. And then I know to get it again, but I'll open it up as well. Or will I be able to? Yeah, I will. So you can see the... So I just um, spun it and then uh, chain plied it back on itself. So I could keep the colour stripe together. Yeah. So that would be sort of perfect. Again, some... oh, I suppose that's DK. But in something like yeah. that, a project like yeah. that, that could then be the colour work yeah. and it will change... Throughout. So nice. So 
so I like that. yeah on my spindle as well so obviously it was um tour de fleece i spun a couple of things over tour de fleece but yeah. not really anything to yeah not much wouldn't have won any prizes not that i compete no. in anything anyway but yeah Love that. well done so good um what have I got? oh yeah in my new in your new bag. My bag i did treat myself i was naughty but I have made one of these. See, I've seen these and never really felt them. They're so nice. It is really it's got pockets in. thick pockets on the inside. And then you can roll it up. You can have it. Yeah, they're so amazing this was quality. The number three, I think it was called. By Hyde and Hammer. Hyde and Hammer, yeah. I'll show you. I've got the is it a little postcard. I mean, everyone must have heard of They had a sale as well, didn't they? Yeah, I got 20% off, which is why when I saw that, I was like, oh, I've got, I really You've always want wanted one. one. I have always wanted one. And I said to Nathan, I was like, oh, hide and hammer, I've got 20% off. And he was like, just get one, you really want one. So I was like, thank you. So yeah, I was well chuffed with that. It's lovely, that colour as well. Yeah, it's nice. It's my colour. I love mustard. Yep. It goes with your back. It with oh, yeah. dress. <laughs> Go with my shawl. Yes. So, I have cast on, this is going to be a tangible. Let's see if I can yeah. help. So, it's the other way round, actually. You need to, you go that side. I'll make sure oh, the yeah. stitches don't fall off. This is going to be a bit twisted. Let's twist it out. Oh, we'll just have so, to. So, this is the honeycomb, no, painting honeycomb shawl by Stephen West. Um... I've seen so many people. This is gorgeous. This, yeah, I can't put it down. I only started it yesterday. Is it complicated? No. Really? No. No. It looks complicated, but it really isn't. Again, you remember each honeycomb. Oh, you know now? Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. I, I mean, I probably would still have to have a little look, but as soon as I look, is I it can then... So you do, do you start, it looks like you, you start, start with the longest the part. the I-cord. So you're literally doing about 300 stitches on an I-cord. Oh, here? Yeah. I suppose that bit will end up that way round. So That's yeah, you're, so, so I've done the longest one. Yeah. So now you're working your way up to, I'll put a picture in, because I didn't print it off. I'll put a picture in of the finished shawl so you can see. But yeah, so I've done the longest honeycombs and then each time you do a honeycomb, you're decreasing. So it's getting quicker and quicker. Yeah. And the reason I chose this was because I had um, a fade set from the botanical yarn. Yep. So we have to be careful of the crinkling. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I but it it's should have taken all together. Out. Sorry. But... but yeah, I had this. Get the reflection off. I'm gonna stand and so yeah. you can show it. Is that blocking out the light from the window a bit? No, we're getting no. the light off the light. Yeah. I don't know if you can hold it back there. But yeah, this lovely fade. Oh, there set. you go. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I've had it for so long, and I just didn't know what to do with it. And then I saw someone on Instagram had put up their um, their honeycomb shawl, and said that they had used their twenty gram minis. I thought that's perfect for you, what yeah, I want. Yeah, you've had those and botanical yarns. Purple's yarn. my favourite colour, so I was like, I will definitely wear that. Yeah. Um, because some of his shawls are quite. Yeah, they're quite. Yeah, they're quite yeah, bright, which but, is a good. Yeah. Yeah. It's. I think it's hard when doing a Stephen West shawl. That's the trouble I had when I was picking the colours for mine. Is because right. you think, should you just get all the colours or go. Yeah. But I think if it's something you wear, yeah. and you know you'll wear it, yeah. it's a lot of work, so. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I've oh, cast That's this amazing. On. It's one that I, I couldn't put it down. Addictive. Really addictive. I can't wait to finish it. Looks it looks so nice, look. So you've so got all those colours done, to go it? through. How much have you got left of this colour then? Only. Tiny bit. Tiny bit. And then I'll be on to the next, and then it'll just fade. In, from burgundy to purple. The grey goes perfectly. So yeah. Right. So that was the uh, blue fern yarns. Undyed yak. Yes. Merino. There. <laughs> yeah. 
the undyed that we talked about on the bonus episode yeah yeah but yeah it goes perfect doesn't it that's gonna be I'm so, so fun glad. i love it look again looks like it would be difficult mm. it's really not i love the raised that it's like the garter honeycomb yeah. edges look raised yeah perfect colors so nice isn't it i can't wait to finish that Really That's going to be exciting. And I've never done see. one of his no. shawls. So, yeah, if um, you haven't got to finish it by, I think it was the end of September there. The um, Oh, Ruth Loves to Knit. Ruth Loves to Knit Across the Pond shawl. Yeah. Thing. But and if you can I'll enter it, but otherwise. But you never know. I can't put it down, so. Might be finished. I might finish it. So I went on um, World of War and I was looking through their cust their own blends, their house blends, and I saw this um, fibre and it was Banana Llama Ding Dong. And it's, <laughs> I love that name. I think actually some of the money from each 100 grams, some of the money goes to Comic Relief, I think. Oh, right. Don't quote me on it, but that's World of War. And so I got 100 grams of it. And so it's, here it is, I'll show it first. So really fun. It's so nice. So I spun this. Is it this is actually three um I can't untwist it, but it's three mini skeins together. So I spun 33 grams and then did a wound it on the ball winder yeah. and did a centre pull ball and plied the two ends together and I did that three times. Because I thought if I make the them bigger, it might get tangled whilst I'm trying to apply it. Yeah. So it's 104 grams, 401 meters, perfect for ply. Banana, fi banana fiber, llama, bamboo, and charolais. So that's, that's lovely. You could have used that in your shawl. I, I did think about it, but because it's got the banana fiber and bamboo, it's got mm. a lot more drape. Right. And it might have. Yeah. I thought there's a. I know there's an eye cord section which like loops and loops and if this ended up being the colour for that. Yeah. But I'll, I don't know what I'll do with this. I was originally it's thinking so nice. a top. Yeah. But unless it's a ripple bralette or something like that, I don't think I'll have enough. I'd need to maybe add some white cotton as well. Yeah. And make some ink. So I love that colour. It's so fun. I don't know if it shows. Get you close up. So nice. But I haven't done a four ply for a while either, so it was nice to spin fine again after yeah. doing all the DK. But it took ages. No, that is lovely. So obviously I had to spin sort of eight hundred meters to make it. A, so that's the thing: the more meterage, that's spinning time, that's drafting yeah. time, in between. But yeah, two ply. So that was fun. That's brilliant. So that's all my finished things. Uh, I've got one more finished. Oh, object, object. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, this is. <laughs> you're gonna laugh. <laughs> I put, <laughs> put my son's little football, <laughs> so you could see the shape. So this is the little pearl hat, and it's a free pattern from um, Drops, which is so Garn cute. Studio. Um. But yeah, so I cute. I just thought that's a cute little baby hat. For your... Adds to my. Future grandchildren grandchildren's box. Children's box. But yeah, I thought that's so cute. I wasn't too sure on the decreases. Um, I put a pom-pom on because it had like, I can't explain it, like a little nipple at the top. Oh, it just it? didn't look right. Uh, <laughs> didn't look yeah. right. So I thought it needs a pom-pom to add to it. But yeah. You made the little pom-pom. <laughs> yeah, I made the pom-pom. So I was like, what is that? <laughs> it's just sat on my side. She was what is that? It's like his baby's out. She was like, so, yeah, well, it doesn't look like a baby, but I thought that's a baby's head. There you go. And colour as well, because it will go with loads of other things. Yeah, and that's in the, um, that was Drops. Just baby. baby, no, baby. Merino. Merino, yeah. How long did that take you? Quick? Oh, very quick, yeah. Uh, two days, but obviously not two days, just when I picked it up and it was finished in two days. Cute. But, yeah. I was looking around, I was like, what can I put it on? Because I, like, I didn't like it, I wanted to see what it looked like on a little baby's head. So, yeah, I found his football and <laughs> it's perfect. Yeah. Well, it's good for blocking. 
Yeah. To use that for a block, like if you were blocking a baby's hat. It's so fun. Yeah. Are you going to do more um, baby hats? Yes. But, um, well, I do want to do it for the collection, but also someone messaged me to say that Basingstoke Hospital are in need of uh, baby hats and the cannula cords, knitted cannula cords that oh, they okay. have, covers. Um, so I've said I'm going to do a couple couple of uh, charity hats. Charity hats for the hospital. So, oh, that'd but be yeah, great. but I will also be making some. Well, actually, actually I did say to Shah, um, she was like, oh, I need to knit something. I said, well, the hospital are crying out for baby. Yeah. The maternity ward I should mention out. as well, that's your daughter as well. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, so people will know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I said to her, knit some knit for the some, hospital. Knit some for the hospital. I did before the, before the pandemic and everything, I knit some premature baby hats for yeah. the hospital and then they stopped taking them and now obviously yeah so now we need yeah yeah so yeah I'll, i will but this is for obviously you can't put pom-poms on no no but yeah that's fun it is cute got anything else? oh so now i'm on to um whips i should have pulled stuff out first um where am i what have we got here? I'm going to do it in the order I've got it written down. I'm just digging around with the bag. So after finishing those other gloves, I decided to do some fingerless Ooh. mitts. So these are the Koi Goo, I think. So that's K-O-I-G-U, fingerless gloves by Estrante. Free pattern. And this is some hand spun yarn that I spun up. A long time ago i got the fiber from shepherd's hut uk and it was a superwash bfl i want to say um fingering weight so i did a two ply and knit up one of these because i've never made fingerless no mitts Are before. They easy? it was yeah it was simple the pattern's really good it's a bit fiddly i yeah, used I um double pointed needles Right. For the fingers. And it was a little bit fiddly, but once I'd done one, then... Oh, they fit perfect, don't they? So, yeah. It, and I only had... Uh, hopefully I put my little... 47 grams, 221 metres of light fingering. Right. That I had. So, and again, I think this... Oh, I want to say it weighs... I know it weighed less than sort of 12 grams. I know I've got plenty. I'll yeah. have leftovers. So I've started the other one. I was going to show the picture, but actually because there's a finished knit and I don't need to, but I separated it. Well, actually the same thing. I spun these on the spindle and then I did centerful balls and plied them back on themselves. So I already had it in two separate. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm doing it on double pointed. I could probably have saved myself trouble and done it on magic loop and then used the, yeah. the hair but yeah so I started the other one I like them good idea fun and it was really special yarn because it was spindle spun yeah. so it took me ages I wanted to make something you know yeah. where you see it and yeah again typed in on Ravelry how much yarn I had and then looked through all the accessories yeah I think I was quite a few pages down before I found these but fun too hot for now though yeah but, oh, but yeah. it's better to get them all done, ready for the autumn and winter. Yeah, very autumnal colours yeah. as well, so yeah, that's very. fun. I like that colour, it's really nice. Um, I don't know whether I've got anything else. Um, Should I talk about some more? Because yeah. I've still got quite a few whips to get through. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, so that was those. Ah. So the cardigan, the straw cardigan that I modified to have a garter ridge that I showed last time instead of the actual pattern that Hohe had written in, I um, ripped it out. It was puckering here right. and I thought it might block out, but I had so much further to go that I didn't want to risk it. Yeah. So again, typed in the yarn I had, scrolled through, sorry about the crinkling of paper, Scrolled through Ravelry until I found the Wrap Me Up sweater scarf. And so it's a scarf, Ooh. but you can wear it as a wrap and sort of sweater in the name. 
So this is, oh, I've got it written here as well. The Wrap Me Up Sweater Scarf by Knittitude, also Chantel Miyagashimi. Oh, I think I've got another pattern here as well. I'm getting all the pattern muddled up now though. Although it's quite simple. Oh, here's, here's it again. I don't think there's anything. With a wedding dress, so it's like wrapped round. You can wear it different ways. Oh, wow. I've got paper falling everywhere now. Right. Loads of crinkling. I'm so sorry about that. Right. That's the only thing with these sort of big... I've got a... It's in your um, oh. alpaca bag. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I just shove everything into... So I'm holding double. I've got some other scraps there. Do you want to take that for me? Some scraps <laughs> from another project still in the bag. This is the... By Ducky Darlings, it's Harvest Moon colourway, and that's four ply. And I'm holding it doubled with um, Drops Kid Silk Merino in the colour Heather. So this is where I've got to. I think it's on like 6.5 oh, wow. needles. So it's knitting up really quick. Ooh. And the sleeve is like ribbed. So there's the sleeve, and then it will you know, oh, wow. go round, cross over, come down and have the other sleeve. That, that's amazing. Yeah, I, I... thought it'd be much better project for this yarn. Yeah. Obviously, you saw the yarn on the last episode, so I don't really need to. But yeah, so fun. I like that. So do you start the sleeve? You Start, start with, with the, the sleeve. sleeve. And I wish it's a one by one rib and I did right. a long tail cast on. Right. I wish I'd learned the tubular cast star yeah. so then I could do the tubular bind off at the other yeah. end and it would be completely neat. Yeah. But I didn't. I was just rushing to do yeah. something else with it. But I love those yeah. colours though. Obviously purples. So nice. Yeah. Autumnal, but it goes quite well with this dress as well, I yeah. think. Yeah. It will go with quite a, quite it's a lot. It's got the actually. yellows and stuff oh. in it already. So, yeah. That's a good construction, isn't it? I like that. But that I couldn't work on in the heat, the mohair. No. That was too much. Yeah. So that's the, yeah, wrap me up sweater. Oh, right. I should have been more organised with this. Okay. I need to take a, it's okay. We don't need to rush, do no. we? Right. So the June top, I loved it so much that I thought, well, I wonder what it would be like if I knit it in wool, because that's the cotton top. Right and just a neutral colour. I showed these on the podcast before, the West Yorkshire Spinners Fleece, 100% Jacobs DK, and that was like five pounds to buy. Oh, yes. And I was saying, yeah. it's quite rough to work with. Right. So I've been, where are we? It's all scrunched up, obviously, on the needles. So I'm, it's top up, so I've got to about here with it. I oh, love the, Bottom. Did I say top up? Yeah. Yeah. Bottom up. <laughs> they knew what you meant, though. No. Bottom up. Um, but if you see, it's full of guard hairs. Yeah. Absolutely cram packed with guard hairs, which I'm trying. I was. I wouldn't have worn this next to the skin anyway. I thought I'd wear it like over the over top. Over the top of a dress, or. And my plan was to maybe duplicate stitch a panel, <gasps> or use really fine cotton and crochet a panel that I then sew on over the top. Yeah. Something like that with it. This, again, in the heat, I'd started this before the sort of heat wave and yeah. I just put it in the bag because it was too, um, Yeah. you know, actually, I'm saying it's not soft, it's fine. I could wear it next to skin. It's the guard hairs that are the yeah. problem. It's yeah. cram packed with them. I mm. mean, at, you know, in vegetable, matter and guard hairs and they will fall out the yeah. more you wear it they'll fall out but you know i don't know if you can see yeah, yeah. you can see white guard hairs and things yeah. in it so it got quite frustrating because i'd sit there and as i was knitting i'd keep stopping and pulling okay. the hairs out but it's fine i've got more of this yarn to use i bought a sweaters quantity of it as well to use so i'll use it yeah and because i spin you know i like um woolly wool and these will fall out but Something to bear in mind. Yeah. If it's probably not the first really woolly wool you should no try. No. Unless people have already gone and bought it where I mentioned it. And they're <laughs> sat there thinking the same thing. Like, you recommended this yarn and it's full of guard hairs. 
but you know it's just natural so yeah. that's that's what you get that's how it is and it's jacobs which is a higher micron it's, i think merino tends to be sort of 18 to 21 and this is about 30 yeah. and the higher the micron the rougher the wool is so that's that um have you got something else before my last um, thing were you gonna mention oh well i've mentioned this yeah um so on the last episode you showed your higher higher uh interchangeable needles yeah um and this lovely uh subscriber viewer yeah. um emailed us saying that she has some we didn't want to mention your name on here because we didn't ask yeah. if we could mention your name yeah. on the podcast. But you so. know who you are. Yes. Um, yeah, emailed and said she's got some that she doesn't use. She doesn't get on with them. Would I like to have them? And I was like, oh, yes, please. So she kindly sent me my own set. Of so higher, lovely. Higher. Thank you so much. Oh, I was like blown away. It was well, really I, sweet. I sent her off to my Etsy shop and said, please choose a bag yeah I mean I only had I think I only had four in there like I said choose a bag um and I'll take it out of the shop and I'll send yeah. send you it did it you. sent her a bag yeah sent yeah, her a bag yeah thank she's you. That's received lovely. that but thank you so much because these are so expensive yeah they are so expensive. they are so expensive and I'm just I, I've already started using them and I absolutely love them I, I'm using them for the shawl for yeah. the honeycomb shawl um what else was I using them for? On oh, cow? for the cow. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just like, oh, I want to use them all. I love higher, higher sharps, especially if you've got to do, you know, the picking up for picking increases up, yeah. or anything there. Lace work or. But, Amazing. Yeah. So thank you so much. Thank That's you. lovely. So kind of you. Blown away. So I've got one more whip. Well, kind of two really, but I'll start with. So this is oh, I like the bag. Oh yes, <laughs> I should show the bag. My friend got me this for um, my friend Lara from college got me this <laughs> for my um birthday before I, like I left that. college. That's a so good yeah, one. I thought that's funny. Had to be done. I should have taken it with me to the wool festival yeah, actually. Yeah, you should have. So I'm knitting the champagne cardigan again by Petite Knit. Petite yeah, Petite Knit. And I think I've got a petite net picture. Do you want to show the picture? Yeah. Me? So that's it's just a simple cardigan, and I've got some. I'll have to make sure it's organised yeah. again when I get that. Some. Sorry, I've got all my stuff up there now. I'm getting distracted. <laughs> Do Some what body. I do. I just throw it all. On yeah, there's all paper. I'm like, I've got to sort it all out. <laughs> Look at us. It's everywhere. <laughs> yeah. And I've had so much to talk about, I'm getting a bit flustered. So, Zen. Um, woolly knits. <laughs> My stomach is <laughs> starving, hungry. It's where we recorded. So, we recorded the other episode before this one, the bonus episode. Yeah. And then we recorded this one. So, we've never sat here for this long <laughs> before. Woolly knit, British wool cones. So, I got this one, which is the. Um, Aran cream net colourway. So just cream with a little black. That's nice. Thank you, one. yeah. And then this one, which is um I had to write the names inside. Light grey natural. And just holding them together, just cast on. So top down, raglan. I ordered some coconut buttons for it because I oh, just thought nice. that might go nice with them so just a simple cardigan and I know I'm knitting the other petite knit June top in neutrals but I haven't got any neutral no that's perfect. garments because I just like all the rainbows everything yeah. so and I like that, that it's got the little speckles yeah and the grey together I know it's, it's close but it's no, softened it's, yeah it and it'll go it'll go with everything yeah so that's gonna be a really good wardrobe staple yeah 
I love that. That's wicked. So that's that. Wicked. I'll let you. Why did I say wicked? Oh, it is wicked. wicked. It is. It is. <laughs> I've not used that word. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting tired. <laughs> It is, that's how I feel about wicked. it. It is, it is wicked. <laughs> oh dear. Um, I've gone all red now. Oh, it's me too. We've both gone red. <laughs> You've gone red because I said wicked. Well, then I said it. And we're sat here losing the plot a little we bit. We are a little bit. So that will be great. And basically I was inspired by the fact of you getting the grey for your Whitmore. And I thought, you know what? Yeah. I need to. Well, I've got one of these cones and I need to. I'm thinking of adding mohair. Yeah. And doing Perfect. ranunculus or love yeah. note. Do it. I've still got that yeah. hand spun, the, the bluey grey that I showed in a previous episode for a love note. Yeah. But I haven't. Can so you... much, isn't it? We've got so much that we just want to cast on. This is Again, it. I've got to like... try and finish. So, finish I mean, I have. I've finished a few. Finish I think some. I've only really got socks. I've got a few whips, obviously, got... these. Obviously... And I've still got that chevron yeah. shawl with the the pink yeah. um excuse my stomach if you can hear it i don't know if you can i don't think they'd be able to hear it we've done it we've done it before and our stomachs have been rumbling and it hasn't yeah, showed up no. so i'm halfway through spinning this i decided to dye some fiber in the slow cooker oh so i dyed this up and i think it's corydale and just yellows and light greens although i don't think i actually put any green in there i think i added a bit of black the yellow and that gave this sort of darker green colour. I love that colour. But I've almost finished the first 50 grams. So going for a DK again. Yeah. I haven't bought the bobbin because it's on the spinning wheel. I just yeah. left it there. But yeah, I thought I'd show that. Nice. So that's that's everything. I'll just put that there for now. That was a very long one. That was a very long one. Well, was. I don't know. One we hour. haven't, yeah, we haven't just over an hour done any edits or anything. Just got to add some photos, I think. Yeah, so thank you all for joining us. We hope you've enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, please leave a comment to let me know if you want to see this design swatches yeah. and things, yeah. have a play around with that. Please like and subscribe and even hit the notification button because it really does. The notification will let you know when we're yeah. when an episode's up, and okay. especially if we do add little ones in between our podcast now yeah we haven't got a regular date it's not sort of every saturday no. like no, some people so yeah, it's we can't do that okay. not at the minute anyway no but, no but yeah. thank you so much for joining us you take care and enjoy your knitting we'll see you next time bye, bye.